everybody, welcome back to my backyard. In this episode of Cooking with Kirby, we're going to be making some breakfast burritos on the Blackstone. Breakfast burritos are pretty common for me because I'm Hispanic and we love burritos, we love tacos. And one thing that I like is burritos, little taquitos from the loncheras. Lonchera is basically the lunch lady. And it's just little flour tortilla, little burritos. You know, they got egg, potato, chorizo, um, bacon, many different ways how they make it. And today we're gonna be making papa con chorizo y huevo. So let's fire up this black stone and let's get to cooking. So our griddle is up to temperature. So we're gonna go ahead and lay down a little bit of oil. I'm gonna be cooking the potatoes first. That's gonna be the longest part of this cook. Now the potatoes, I cut them into little squares and I had them soaking in some water for about an hour. So this is gonna give a good little crunch to it, but we don't want it really, really crispy like a french fry. We just want like a nice little crunch exterior with a soft bite. All right, so we got the water strained out of our potatoes. We're gonna go ahead and lay them right there on top. Now we're going to go ahead and season with salt, pepper, and garlic powder. Alright, so we're going to just go ahead and give this a toss around, get some little seasoning incorporated. So I have my Blackstone in the middle burners on medium heat. I have the two sides on low. And so I'm gonna focus all my energy from the heat into the potatoes. So we're gonna go ahead and dome this for a couple of minutes and then we'll come back to it. The chorizo that we're gonna be using is the store-bought chorizo. Now, I do make chorizo from scratch, being it's got you know, a lot of meat in it. But these right here, these are more for flavor. This adds a really good spice flavor to the food and there's really no meat in it. It's got you know, fat from whatever meat it's got in there. This one's pork, so we're gonna have a pork flavor mixed with all those different spices and chilies. So this is how I use this type of chorizo. Now, if you want like a chorizo taco or something like that, I have made chorizo from scratch and I have a video on that. I'll leave that at the end so that we can check that out. But either way, this is really easy to use and this is how I use it. All right, so it's been a couple minutes. Go ahead and give this a stir. We're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of olive oil right into the potato. We don't want that to stick. Now I'm gonna go ahead and dome it again and I'm gonna add a little bit of water so that we can get some steam. All right, another couple minutes have passed. We're gonna go ahead and toss some things around. We don't want that potato to stick. Go ahead and try one. They just need a little bit more time. But we want a little bit more exterior crust on there. So we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit more water and then we'll leave it uncovered for the rest of the cook. All right, after a couple minutes and under the dome. Go ahead and see where we're at. All right, that's the texture I want, but I need a little bit more crispy. So I'm gonna bring this over here to the side with a little bit of oil. Now we're just gonna go ahead and spread these out and let them crisp up. Now I got about six strips of bacon sliced up. Bacon's 
gonna cook really fast, so you wanna just, you know, make sure you toss it around. You wanna get a nice color on that bacon. Nothing good, let me tell you. Now we're gonna be adding in our chorizo. Right there, about a third of this tube is what we're gonna use. See how it's not a bunch of meat? It has a little bit of meat, but it's not a whole lot. So this actually comes down and breaks down as grease. Now that we got our bacon done and our potatoes, we're gonna go ahead and marry them together. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and taste our seasoning. Needs a little bit more salt and pepper. Actually, a little bit more salt. Go ahead and mix, get that incorporated. Now I got about six eggs right here. We're gonna slowly add it in. Now we're just gonna let this egg cook and we're pretty much done. Give it a couple tosses, that way you can get all that egg cooked up. So we're gonna go ahead and turn off these burners right here. It's still hot enough. I'm gonna leave this one on so I can heat up the tortilla. And that right there, folks, is our papa con huevo y chorizo. Let's give it a taste with everything. Oh yeah, that's gonna be an awesome burrito. Now when it comes to breakfast burritos, you gotta have a big tortilla. This is a flour tortilla. Fiesta Tortillas is actually a company here locally. You could probably only get them here in Southern California. But this is my best brand when it comes to flour tortillas. You want a nice, soft, but durable tortilla so that way when you put it all together, it just doesn't break up on you. And heat up my tortilla. Shout out to all the lancheras out there waking up at two o'clock in the morning to make breakfast for all the field workers. They be making money out there. All right, so we have our tortilla all nicely heated up. I usually burritos, breakfast burritos at the loncheras and the, the lunch ladies or whatever, they make them real thin. Today we're gonna go a little bit bigger, not too crazy. This is a pretty big burrito. I think we can uh, get a one burrito feed all type deal. Fold these from the side and then roll over. Tuck in. Usually when you pack these for your lunch, they're wrapped in like foil and you got like three or four of them. But uh, since we're on the Blackstone today, I'm gonna go ahead and crisp up this tortilla. So I'm gonna go ahead and place it right here on our Blackstone. Let that tortilla get nice and golden brown on me. All right, so go ahead and give this a turn. Get a nice golden brown on that other side. All right, we got a perfect color right there. Now let's go ahead and cut this and see what it looks like. Let's go ahead and cut into this. Yeah. As you can see, this is a simple cook. I have it quite often. It's a perfect breakfast. You get your potato, eggs, and a whole bunch of goodness. Now let's see how this thing tastes. Now, the loncheras, the lunch ladies, they give you the burrito and a little cup of salsa. One of my favorite breakfast salsas is El Pato Sauce. If you don't have fresh salsa made, El Pato Sauce in the can is good stuff. So let's go ahead and add just a little bit of that salsa there. Cheers, y'all.
Can't go wrong with this. This is good. As you see, I got some eating to do. I got my fat pants on. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button so that way you see future videos just like this and many more. If you have any questions or comments, as always, leave them down in the comment section. I got these recipes, they're really good, you should try them out. Now y'all be beautiful and take care.